Hey everyone, this is John Hood and welcome to 5 Minute Friday, where I get to show you lots of cool things about Microsoft Teams. Today I'm going to talk about how to raise your hand and manage raise hands in a Teams meeting. If you're either running a meeting or attending one, sometimes you'll want to raise your hand. Also, if somebody else raises their hand, you're going to want to know what to do. In Teams, on this floating toolbar, there's a button right here which says Raise Your Hand. When and if you raise your hand during a meeting, everybody's going to be able to see it. They'll see a little notification with the person's name, as well as a participant list right here. Also, by the bottom, you'll see a little hand next to the person's picture. Let's say I'm running this meeting and Richard has a question. I'll immediately get the notifications, and I could address that question with Richard, or he could present something like that. Then maybe Samantha raises her hand. I can see that two people have done so. I'm going to click here on the Show Participants list. And we'll be able to see the order in which people raise their hand right here. There's a great amount of transparency with this method of engaging your audience. Having these in order is great because I can click here and lower their hand this way. You can right click or you can click on the ellipsis and lower their hand that way. This is what the meeting looks like according to Richard. He can see that John and Samantha have raised their hands, but what he can't do is lower their hand. And that means attendees can't shut down somebody else's question. The difference, however, is that if I click here and make Richard a presenter, he can now do things like mute people, remove them, admit them from the lobby, but he'll also be able to lower hands. Whether you're running the meeting or you're attending the meeting, you can see that this feature allows you to both interact with your audience better as well as engage them. And that is how to raise and lower your hand in Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more quick tips on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos or perhaps would like customized training on Microsoft 365 applications, please check out our website at www.knowledgewave.com. The KnowledgeWave Learning Site offers access to thousands of on-demand videos and trainings that are constantly updated to address all of the newest features that Microsoft has to offer. Visit our site or call us today to learn more.